Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Ali and I'm a professor at Athabasca University. Today we'll be talking about how to implement successful mobile learning. It's very important to plan mobile learning properly so that you can implement it for success. So we will look at strategies for implementing successful mobile learning. And I think as a teacher, you need to think about how you will implement successful mobile learning. So as you look at the information, you should keep thinking about how you as a teacher can actually make mobile learning successful in your organization, in your courses, etc. So here are some strategies for sex successful implementation of mobile learning. And a very important one that I found based on my experience in mobile learning implementation is motivation of teachers. You have to motivate teachers to become involved in mobile learning. You have to tell them what are the benefits of mobile learning. If you don't tell them the benefits, then they won't implement mobile learning. And of course, some of the benefits of mobile learning for teachers is they can actually deliver the, their courses on electronic technology so students can access the course anytime, anywhere, which give both the student flexibility and the, and the teacher flexibility. So yes, very, very important to motivate teachers to become involved. Tell them why it's important for them to become involved and tell them what are the benefits, how it's going to help them, make them a better teacher. For the administration in the organization, they have to make sure the infrastructure is there for mobile learning. They have to make sure that there is support for learners, that there is support for teachers, and there is adequate connectivity for students so when they access course materials, then they can download the materials at a very fast rate or they don't have to wait for too long to, to take their courses. Work with partners for development. It's very, very expensive to develop mobile learning courses or to convert your courses for mobile learning. It's a good idea to work with different partners who could help you fund, who could help fund the development of the mobile learning, or you can collaborate on the development. Some can do one course and some can do other courses. So it's important to see how you can work with other partners. Either work with other organizations, other schools, other teachers, with government so that you can develop the materials in the most cost effective way. Use existing resources. One of the things that I tell teachers and professors is if you want to develop some mobile learning lesson for courses, the first thing you should do and see if it exists already. If it exists already, then you should take a look at it and if it's open education resources, you can adapt it to your needs, you can make changes so that you can use it in your courses. Or if it exists already and you have to pay a license for it, and maybe the license is not too high, then you can acquire the course uh, for, your, for your organization. So look at what exists already before you start developing the, the course from scratch for mobile. Some schools uh, operate in dual mode, and what that means, they have face-to-face -face delivery, plus they have distance delivery, online delivery, mobile delivery. So the dual mode schools should make sure that they plan for mobile learning. Because what happens when in dual mode school, most of the resources go for face-to-face -face instruction rather than look at online e-learning, mobile learning. So all the plans within a dual mode school should include mobile learning, should include e-learning, etc. Very important and develop success story and once you develop the success story you communicate the results to your colleagues to your administrators so that you can convince them that to go to with mobile learning and good strategy for success story is to start with a small project start with one course develop the course deliver collect some data from students do formative summative evaluation and write a report and present it to your colleague and your administrators so that they're convinced that mobile learning is actually successful. Establish quality assurance measure for mobile learning. <clears throat> you have to make sure that everyone, all of your students in the course or in the, the school can actually access the, the learning materials. So you have to make sure you deliver the materials so people can access it. So do not make the 
the files too large, which takes a long, long time to download. You, just, you should also look at the quality of the course materials. Make sure that you follow good learning theories, learning principles, instructional design when you develop your mobile learning course because you want to have high quality product. You have to prepare students for mobile learning. In some cases, this is the first time students will take a mobile learning course. And you have to tell them what they have to do to take the course. They have to have the technology, they have to know how to sign on, they have to have good time management skills so that they can manage their learning, etc. So it's important to prepare students and also provide support to students because the student may help, need help with the technology, they may need help with access to the course, and also they may need content help. They may have, have problems with the course and they may have to talk to the teacher. Have to prepare teachers for the mobile learning. So you have to train them how to design their courses and how to deliver their courses. And again, same with students. This may be the first time for teachers who are involved in mobile learning course. And support has to be provided for teachers. And again, technical support, instructional design support, how to design your courses using good instructional design principles and learning principles. In terms of a teacher who always wants to get involved in mobile learning, here's uh, some skills that the teacher should, uh, should know in order to be a good mobile learning teacher or tutor. They have to manage the learning process. They have to make sure that the student register for the course students follow the course, etc., they complete their assignments, etc. So have to be a good manager of learning. <clears throat> they have to facilitate learning. <clears throat> so for example, if a student is not progressing in the course, the teacher has to follow up with that student to make sure that the student is not having problems, etc. They have to monitor student progress, etc. They have to motivate learners. They have to, in, in course forums, computer forums, they have to post questions so that students can answer the questions, so they have to motivate students to learn. For the faster students who are above the learning materials, who are working ahead, they should actually give challenging act activities, like enhanced activities for those students, so that they're motivated to continue with the course and finish the course. They have to be good moderator of both synchronous and asynchronous session. So synchronous is real time where you communicate with students in real time. And a good example of that, you can have an online chat with students, or you can have an audio conference with students. So the, the teacher has to know how to moderate the synchronous session and asynchronous where there's some delay. And an example of asynchronous is your computer forum, computer conference, where the teacher will actually pose a question, student will respond, and then the, the the professor teacher will actually summarize the discussion. Solve content problem. The teacher has to be an expert in the subject he or she is teaching. So if the student has a question, the student can contact the, the teacher who will provide an answer or give, give feedback to get more information. Conduct formative evaluation of learning materials and this is very important for new courses that are developed for mobile learning. The first implementation of the mobile learning, the teacher has to collect data on how students are performing, if there's any problems with the course in terms of sequencing and, and typos in the course, etc. So they have to be some formative evaluation and the teacher has to be involved with that. And of course the teacher has to evaluate the student performance once they complete the course. They have to give some sort of a exam or test for certification purposes. So if student pass the test, then they pass the course, they can go into the next course. And this, the, the teacher should actually model and enforce appropriate ethical behavior. Because some students tend to model after the teacher. So for example, in a computer forum, the, stu the teacher should model proper comments that are posted on the computer forum should model good language, uh, good time management skill, etc. So if the teacher is actually responding timely to students, students will continue in the course in a timely manner. They will respond to the teachers in a timely manner. So they, and also they have to make sure that they, they model appropriate ethical behavior 
to make sure that students behave ethically in the course. Do not offend anyone, do not use inappropriate languages, etc. Very important in mobile learning that there has there be interaction, different levels of interaction, because the young students today like interactivity. So they should be learner-teacher interaction through email, through chat, through computer forums, through audio conferencing. There should be learner-learner interaction where the learners help each other, where you have uh, peer tutoring, and again, learners use uh, social media, they use chat so that they can interact with each other. Learner-expert interaction, this is one advantage of using technology for delivering your courses. The students can actually use the technology, the communication capabilities, to reach experts in the field. And they can actually talk to the experts, interview the experts to get latest information. And this is one area of interaction that's underutilized in education today. But with the technology, with mobile technology, the students can actually reach experts in the field anywhere in the world. And students, uh, have, there should be learner content interaction where the student interact with the content so that, they, so that they learn. And with the new generation of students, we need to have more game-like interaction because they're accustomed to games. They like to see high level of interactivity and with feedback. Also, students these days, uh, they don't like long sequence of courses. They like short segments of courses. So the course should be broken down into units or modules of instruction and students will actually complete modules of instruction. So very important to have interaction in your, in your mobile learning course. Based on my experience, to implement change, any change, first you have to establish a sense of urgency. And I think there is a sense of urgency in education today, especially for education for all. There is lack of teachers in developing countries, a lack of schools in developing countries. In some countries, there are millions of teachers that, that, that they have shortage of, and not enough schools. <clears throat> so there is a sense of urgency. And the sense of urgency is to use mobile technology to deliver education to these students. Because the students have the technology, and if you have the materials in electronic format, they can access with mobile then they will learn and they, will, they don't have to go to school and you will need less teachers. So establish a sense of urgency, which I think we have today in education. Create a vision, and the vision is to educate, give all students a basic education level as the United Nations goal suggests. <clears throat> Once you have a vision, you communicate the vision to your administrator, to your colleagues, etc. Then you develop the infrastructure to implement your vision and then you gain some win successes. So you start a small project to achieve your vision and make sure it's a successful project. You should start with a manageable project and once you have success then you communicate the success with your colleagues, with the, with the public, with the world. Invite the media. The media is a good, good method to, give, uh, uh, to communicate your success or to give you uh, the media attention. And once you communicate your success, then you implement your change. You start from small and go bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's based on my experience, how to implement change. Follow those general steps. So to be successful, mobile learning must be learner center and interactive, which means we need to have good design principles, good instructional design principles, so teachers need to be involved with instructional designer, learning theorists to design high quality mobile learning materials. Thank you.